Good morning. How are you doing today? I hope you're safe at home. I hope you're doing well. Uh, just give me one second, guys. Okay, we want to avoid any outside noises from our video, so let's begin to work. Today we have this thing to learn. There is and there are. I'm gonna, I mean, I hate to say this, but I have to explain why I'm using some terms in Spanish. Things we're far, we're from a long distance, so I have to mention some things in Spanish. So in Spanish we say this word. Hay. And we use it anytime. Hay un lápiz en la mesa. Hay dos lápices en la mesa. That's how it goes in Spanish. But you will know that Spanish is not the same as English. And this is why we in English use there is sometimes and we use there are some other times. What is the difference? The difference is that there is. is for singular nouns, okay? And there are, of course, is going to be for plural nouns. Now, I'm talking about count nouns. What are count nouns? <clears throat> Things, people, <clears throat> or animals that can be counted. One car. Two apples, ten oranges, those are count nouns. And we're going to work today with only count nouns for today. Our next lesson is going to be for non count nouns. Okay, so we're going to stay with there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. If you see, <clears throat> we are working with the B verb. B with the is form and B with the R form. For example, this is the difference. Singular, plural. So what I can see right here is that we have one boy in the house and we have two voices in the house. So, there is a boy in the house. Or, you can say, there is one boy in the house. It's going to be the same thing. There is a boy in the house, there is one boy in the house. Now, in this case, there are two boys in the house. So this is the main difference. This is how, this is how we use, this is how we use, um, I'm sorry, this is how we use uh, the term there is and there are for a fair statement. Now, since we have time enough, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you the negative and the interrogative way. Or there is 
a pair of scissors on the table. But I don't see a pencil on the table, for example. So in this case, I'm going to say, there is not a pencil on the table. It's easy as this. As soon as we learn how to work with the beaver, we will have any problem using the there is and the there are in a native expression. Okay, um, let's stick with this. Let's change. Let's see the whole thing. For example, I have a tree right here. Full of apples. Now, I don't see any birds on the tree. So I'm going to say, there are not apples. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There are not birds on the tree. This can be okay, but whenever we talk about negative statements with no amount, okay, for those of you who didn't understand what I said right now in English, si voy a trabajar la negación, pero sin cantidad, digo, no hay pájaros en el árbol, no digo cuántos. Okay, let's go back to English. I say they are, there are not birds on the tree. How many? Whenever I do not mention the amount, I have to bring this word out. There are not any birds on the tree. That's the correct way of using the negative expression. With the plural expression with no amount. Okay? Um, now, you can say, you can switch this to a contraction. And instead, we can say, there aren't any birds on the tree. It's easier to speak it this way. Now, let's go back to the singular expression. I don't see a bird in this uh, tree. So I'm going to say, there is not, pay attention, I am not going to use any right now because it's a singular expression. And the word any is only going to go with plural expressions. So, there is not a bird on the tree. I took this example just to show you that the word any goes only with plural. Okay? Now, let's go with the... Uh, interrogative form, okay? You will know that whenever we work with the B verb, any yes, no question begins with the B verb. For example, um, Let's say this is a box. I don't know what is inside the box. 
Some of them start asking questions. So I have to write. The beaver Thank you. 
you during the last 15 minutes. Give your best effort. 